French prosecutors say authorities have arrested two more people in connection with the deadly terror attack in Nice, France. 84 people, including 10 children, died in that attack. Tonight, people in Nashville came together to honor the f lives that were lost in France. News Channel 5's Matthew Torres was there and joins us live at Public Square Park. Matthew. Junk, well, tonight's vigil wrapped up about an hour ago. It was very simple as organizers promoted the message of peace. Even though France is thousands of miles away, French folks I spoke to here say they feel right at home as they honor the lives lost this week. 84 dead, including 10 children as young as five months old, over 200 injured, and many fighting for their lives as we speak. It doesn't take any language. News from France were horrific. To understand that terror has once again inflicted pain this week. My thoughts and prayers are with the immediate families of the victims. Thursday night, a man plowed through a crowd of families and tourists in a truck during a Bastille Day show in Nice, France. We feel like we're no longer safe and that's a strange feeling. So on the steps of City Hall Sunday night, several people in the French community in Nashville are turning pain into peace with a moment of silence. So it's kind of warming. I feel like closer to France. As they light candles and sign a poster and condolence book. Mayor Megan Barry was also there to show her support. Let's unite our prayers for the people of Turkey and all the victims of violence and terrorism around the world. Thursday's massacre would make it the third terror attack in France in less than two years. I think we don't even have time, I mean, to go over all these tragedies. They are coming so fast, one after the other. Samira Berkoki is a teacher outside of Paris and is in town for a study program when she learned about the news. I was really moved, didn't really understand. The kids were kind of shocked and I was really shocked. But instead of fear, she's teaching her students that love is the language they need to know right now. Believe in yourself, have hope, you are the future, and you can change things. At least two Americans were killed in the attack. That condolence book you heard about in the story will eventually be sent to the mayor of Nice. Reporting live in downtown tonight, I'm Matthew Torres, News Channel 5.